I took a business trip to England last year in March of 2018. So I booked myself into a hotel on the way from the plane. I ended up getting a room at the Norfolk Towers Hotel Paddington Station in London, England. The room was absolutely lovely. It was tiny. It's the tiniest hotel room I have ever seen or heard of. I have seen some YouTube videos from some smaller hotel rooms. I will link to them in the description, but it's certainly the smallest hotel room I've ever stayed in. The hotel website says this room is 4.5 square meters. That's 48 square feet. I stayed in an 80 square foot single dorm room in college. This room was about half that size. I'm going to quick show you a diagram of the room and then I have two pieces of footage that I shot with cell phone while I was in the room. But the whole video is probably three, four minutes. I hope you enjoy. Here's the layout of the room. Bed is here. Entertainment center desk is here. The, the, the TV is above the desk on the wall. There was not room to stand in between the foot of the bed and the desk. I could walk through here and I could move a suitcase through here, but not at the same time. The suitcase had to be ahead of me or behind me between this coffee service thing and, and the bed. The inner door, when you open it about halfway, bumps up against the desk. You had to basically push the suitcase in ahead of you to have room for both you and the suitcase in the walkway. The door to the bathroom would sweep out this much of the floor. If you were standing here and going into the bathroom, there was no room for the suitcase to be except on the bed. This is a very, very cramped hotel room. So I am sitting in the bed, my back against the corner. That's the door to the toilet. That's the door out over there. That's the little entertainment vestibule thing. And that's it. Uh, my suitcase is sitting in the middle of the room and it takes up most of the standing space. That little, that square thing right there is a little exit vestibule, or uh, an exit booth, but uh, the door is very narrow. So the door opens right up against the desk. Okay, there's the door out. There is my stuff on the bed, which actually leaves me room to stand a little bit. There's the entertainment center. So if I, here is the uh, tea service with kettle. I turn toward the toilet door and I open it. That takes up a bunch of the room on the floor. And then I go in here and there's a very short sink. Toilet that doesn't actually have room, or barely has room to actually sit in front of. Not a terribly small shower. So that's not bad. <clears throat> But then this is standing, this is the view of the actual bedroom from the, the, the toilet. And then that's the door out, which opens against the desk. Here is the website for the Norfolk Towers Hotel. And there it is. The bed the door into the bathroom, and then over here is the little, is the little tea service thing with the refrigerator. The windows to the right. So this, the person taking this photo is basically sitting on the little entertainment center desk. And then the door out is just to the left. So they still have this room as of April 16th, 2019. It starts at 79 pounds, which is uh, super cheap for a nice room. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, please click thumbs up and subscribe. If you would like to see other videos like this about hotel rooms, I have some interesting ones from China. Leave a comment saying so and never stop figuring stuff out.